Hey guys, and welcome back to Carrier. When we last left off, we managed to find our brother Bob, who met his uh, demise, sadly. Uh, we managed to get a key from our brother Bob, as he was getting horribly murdered. And um, some sulfuric acid as well. So uh, let's go combine the key, which has some strange material on it. Uh, and I'm guessing we need to melt that material off. And then we need to head to deck 6. Because apparently it's all going down on deck 6. Unfortunately our brother Bob is uh, no more. He's been horribly murdered by, well, whatever the hell's been murdering people around here. This arc disease or arc virus. So let's go back downstairs into the water because there was a lab there and uh, we did find a specific room, one of the labs down there that had, I think we're going the right way, yes, yes, one of the labs down here had a uh, chemical um, machine where you can... Uh, have safe reactions. So, that's what we're going to do. Now, I wonder if we're going to have any gribbly bastards. Because we are pushing the story forwards. And that generally means we're going to have some enemies spring up on us. But that's okay. Because we have our uh, submachine gun, as the game likes to tell us, in our hand. Now, the submachine gun is cool. I like it. My verdict is certainly out at the moment with the weapons in this game. Uh, they both seem to be pretty good. I mean, they all seem to be pretty good, to be honest. Not a huge amount of difference between them, if I'm being brutally honest. The machine gun is more satisfying to use. Now, it is a bit odd that we haven't got a shotgun or anything. Um, maybe we won't get a shotgun. I'm not sure. Research room one. Yeah, scattered all over the place. Ah. A fume hood. Yes. Nice. The key, a like object, is <laughs> the key like object is in the sulfuric acid. It's a key. We know it's a key. The acid has melted the surrounding matter, revealing a key. Emergency lock key obtained. Right, cool. So we know where we can go and use that bad boy. We're way ahead of you, game. Now, I wonder if that spawned any gribblies. Now, it's the second day that we've had the kittens, uh, Milo and Leo. Milo is certainly coming out of his shell a little bit. He's actually uh, started purring today uh, when you give him a little bit of fuss and attention, which is nice. Right, let's go. Let's go get this key in the hole. Hopefully, we can go meet the rest of our boys. Now, I am wondering how many of us are actually going to survive this incursion. Because, well, uh, I didn't see our brother buying the farm. And then blowing his dome off. You know, just like spraying his brains all over the place. Oh, dude. Yeah, that that definitely took me a little bit uh, off guard. Never mind. Never mind. Um, we want to go this way. Yeah, cause, yeah that was the uh, electric room the other way yeah we can't do anything in there I don't think because we've already done the puzzle in the electric room now let's go check this place out I wonder if we come up to a boss we haven't had a boss for a while during emergencies deactivate the lock and evacuate uh yes I guess let's go now is this gonna be like uh, an elevator leading up or something Perhaps we should have checked the map before we went up here. Mm-hmm. Oh. Whoa. That was a cool effect. Ah. Uh, I guess we've got a boss? Question mark. Where the hell are we now, though? It's a control room. Okay. Might want to get on your feet, Jack. Hmm. 
Ah, yeah, because we saw like a giant fish thing attack us, didn't we? Or run away. At least. Is that what this is? That was a very nice spinning shot. Oh, shit. That look of uh, fear on his face. Whoa! The fuck? Did we just get hit? Oh, God, look at that thing. Oh, man. All right. I was going to say, why is my gun not working? Okay. All right, this is going to be a little bit like this, is it? I, um, can we get out, please? Uh, not 100% sure how much damage we're actually doing to this thing, to be honest. Let's switch up. Christ, on a motorbike. I don't know. Right, I don't think we can actually avoid this thing, to be honest. And I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> he just sprayed into our face. Uh, right, let's neck that. Let's get dangerous. Shall we? Oh, okay, not great. Not not a great outcome. Uh, did that do anything to it? Like, at all? Guessing... Guessing the buster is apparently a load of old shit. Okay. Either that, or we just don't know how to use it, which absolutely could be true, I guess. Right, let's see. Right, to so shoot it in the face definitely does more damage. But, I'm. Right, let's just, just get out of here, shall we? I have no idea how we're meant to fuck. Really? Really? Okay, let's go. Oh, we can't. We can't go. Alright. So, headshots to this fucker is where it's at. There we go. Alright, monkey boy. Oh, God. Uh, we're almost dead again. Uh, this is a very imprecise way of fighting. I'm not going to lie. And for whatever reason, the pistol seems to do more damage as well. Shit. Trying to move out of the way there. <laughs> Alright, Jack. We've got this. This will be the one that didn't get away. Alright. Shoot him in the face and then I... Okay. I guess we move, but... I'm not sure what that's about. Uh... Oh, we're dead. Holy shit. Okay, right. Um, well, we've learned something here today. So to fight this thing, we have to shoot it in the head. That seems... Oh, I went to new game, didn't I? Oh, it's going to take about 7,000 years to get to a point where I can... Hang on. Come on, game. Why have new game right at the start? Right, okay. Well, I will meet you guys back. Yeah, we don't care. Uh, I will meet you guys back to the fight. Uh, I don't think he's actually going to be that hard. I think it's going to be a case of um, using the handgun and shooting him in the face. The grenade launcher just literally seems like a waste of time. I don't really know what that does maybe because we're in the water question mark I'm not sure um but not quite sure how to dodge this guy either uh it seems to be a complete crap shoot sometimes you can stand still and he won't hit you other times he seems to follow you pretty well because you can't really move <laughs> in this water it's it's very slow so okay. anyway i'll meet you guys back at the beastie Okay, let's try that one again, shall we, guys? Now, he actually just got a free hit on me there, which I'm not impressed with. And that, I don't know. That 
certainly seem to be doing some good damage on him, actually. Um, right. Oh, God. Level 1 energy drink. Yeah, we use that one up. Uh, oh, God. Move. Okay, so he can attack you just by being close to you, I guess? Okay. Right. Cool. I think. I'm not sure. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, Jesus. Maybe I'm patching this uh, virus. Oh, God. I don't know what that does. I don't know what the hell that does. I think it just slows you down so you can't really move. And we're basically dead again. Uh, level 3 energy drink. I think that's all we have. Which is fine. Alright, get the fuck out of here, you dickhead. I mean, we've almost got him down. Almost. <clears throat> you sound like a monkey or something. Alright. Ah, bloody hell. Even when you try and keep him at arm's length, he still has a way of coming back at you. Alright, there we go. It takes so long... It takes so long to go into that aiming stance and to recover from actually getting hit. It's very difficult to actually avoid him at all, to be honest. I think we're just going to have to tank it. But that's okay. It's just, yeah, it's definitely just easier to stand here and tank it. It takes so long to get up. Like, it's a little bit cheesy, if you ask me. We're almost dead again. Yeah, by the time you get up, you're stun-locked, essentially. That's what's going on here. Right, there we go. Move! Okay, all right. suppose we better at least try... And avoid this guy if we can. There we go. There we go. Oh. Yeah, that was <laughs> interesting. Uh, he's just gonna like flap around. So you can only actually hit him once per cycle. <laughs> Off we slink. Oh, Jesus! What the hell? Uh, I guess there's a round two. Is there? Was that, like, was that meant to be a round two? I mean, I think he's dead now. Not really sure. I like the way I got the handgun out. Yeah, you can only actually shoot him once per round. Which, I guess kind of made using the machine gun a bit silly but I've noticed that with a lot of uh, well I think all of the enemies you hit them once you do some damage and then you get like some invincibility frames and then you can do more damage uh, and then you get some invincibility frames rinse and repeat so ah, I'm questioning the use of the machine gun to be honest it just I don't know it just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense i think a shotgun would have made more sense right anyway let's i guess go up here definitely need some more healing items because bloody hell man oh, so where the hell are we now uh we're in the ward room i guess oh we're on the other side we're on the other side of this bit right so that's the elevator, and I guess this is going to lead us through to the other side. Was there anything to actually pick up? I can't remember. Let's have a look. No, that just leads to the other side of <laughs> the destroyed balcony. But, I mean, hey, whatever. Alright, that wasn't the smoothest method, but it worked. That's all that matters, guys. That's all that matters. Jack prevailed. Just. Doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning. Ooh, engine room. 
And there's another save there. Okay, what have we got? Control panel for the turbine. It's activated and cannot be stopped. Right. Oh, hello. What's in here? Two level two energy drinks. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Sure. Right, we'll drop a save. Just because um, it's nice to be done with that. Yeah, that boss was... Um, not great, to be honest. You know, I think that's a theme for the bosses in this game. Uh, none of them have actually felt that good. They're just... They're just there, if that makes sense. Jack, can you hear me? This is Jack. Captain, what happened? We have a problem. The weapons control system is running wild. It may program a missile launch. What? Oof. What? It looks like <laughs> what? Oof. Okay. Alright. So we need to get there. Control room. Weapons control room. Okay. I like the way it's... Oh, shit. Um, I was going to say, I like the way it's actually giving us an objective now. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I think the the trouble with the enemies, to be honest, is there's no necessary way of knowing whether you're actually hurting them. And uh, even when you are hurting them, there's very little feedback for what's going on. Right, uh, I think we're going that way. Why is my map button not working? Not sure, but it is now. Okay. So, random time limit appears. Okay. Oh, fuck. Hello. Yeah, get out of here, dude. I guess there's some invisible guys here. That I can't see now for some reason. Even though I know they're there. Come on. I think we've got them. Cool. Alright. I mean, we've got... Oh, shit. Right. Okay. We can go through this one. Uh, wep Right. We're in the weapon control center. I mean, that's good. He's already dead. Yeah, I knew that. Did he have any cool stuff? Oh, fucking bastards. Really? Ah, oh, this place is crawling with these sons of bitches. Not sure why, even though... Oh, God. Okay. Can you die, please? Thank you. Now, where's the other ones? There they are. I take two bullets. Yeah, again, every enemy has invincibility frames. So, like, when he's doing that animation where he's recoiling in pain, uh, you can't actually f shoot him again. Right, main battle command system. Uh, yes. To completely deactivate the weapon system, shut down the subsystems. Uh... Okay. Main system has been shut down. All systems transferred to the subsystems. Uh... Where's the... Where's the subs... Oh, right. These things, I guess. I guess? Alright, I mean... That was as close as it gets. <laughs> Bloody hell. That was easy. Right. So, we've shut down the weapon systems. I mean, that's something, I guess. Right, let's suck down one of those things. Yeah, those bloody bastard snail things suck. But they're dead now, and that's all that matters. Yep, yeah, invincibility frames uh, in the context of this game 
oh man, they just, they don't, <laughs> they're really cheap, you know? Like, why would you have an automatic Strength weapon system that you can't use? This is Spark Team Sergeant Ingold. Spark? So you're still around? Yes. Oh, nice. Great. Any survivors should be on the flight deck. Can you take care of them for me? You got it. Yeah, you might want to screen those guys. So that seemed to have happened a little. God, they're invisible. Right, so even when they're invisible, you can still see them. Yeah, so that seemed to have happened a little bit too suddenly for my liking. Um, <laughs> literally, like, shut down the weapons control system, which has taken the majority of the game. And suddenly... Alright, oh god. And suddenly, um, our boys are, are there instantly. You know, it's a little bit, a little bit strange, but hey, let's roll with it. Right, so we've managed to finally achieve our first objective. Maybe we should be using these goggles more. Probably a good idea, I guess. Second computer room. Hey! Wend! Captain, the weapons control system has been deactivated. I received a transmission from the transport earlier. It's above the Heimdall and is preparing to land. I asked them to take care of the survivors on the flight deck. So, they came just in time. We finally have a way out of this mess. I guess I owe you one. Thanks. I was only doing my job. Well, let's not get too formal. Yeah. I'll head to the flight deck and prepare to evacuate. I'll head for the second computer room where the doctor is. That would be good. I've opened <laughs> all the doors control from here. Captain, that's the capsule that Lieutenant Manning had, isn't it? What's inside? <laughs> Nothing. Forget about it. It's just something headquarters wanted. But you better get going, unless you want the doctor to be bait for those monsters. Uh, wake up, Jack. He's stealing the sample. You absolute tool belt. Hurry up. Aren't you worried about the doctor? Yeah, I mean, uh, not really, but I'm more concerned with the fact that you're taking some of this arc stuff back. Doesn't that seem like a stupid idea? And I guess Manning's in on it as well. There are some strange sort of cellular organisms. Is this doctor's masterpiece? Uh, is this doctor's... Is this doctor's masterpiece? Zoe. So Zoe... Liquid is a fluorescent green. So, Zoe is a biological computer? That explains why um, Ark take over it, I guess. Unless Zoe was created with Ark cells. Who knows? Okay, that's interesting. Right, so we need some keys. Um, we do have some doors that we could possibly try, though. What are these? A drainage pump okay so I guess this place can get cleared if it does indeed flood which is nice uh, what's through here let's, let's go through this door first cuz it's the closest door to us 
Let's go find the doctor. Um, okay, looks like we've got some orange doors as well. It's locked. E lock. Okay, so we need an E key. Right, got ya. Got ya. I know things about stuff. I know how locks work. Security system. So we need to deactivate the security system and we need an E uh, card. I see. We're almost just about out of time as well. Ah, second engine room. Wow, there is a lot of lock rooms in here. The engine is at maximum power. Yeah, that's not looking great. Lock from the other side. Cool, got ya. Yep, um, it looks like the, the <laughs> arc infestation is pretty bloody extreme down here. And are we actually on the final level? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, deck one still apparently unexplored. Cool. All right. So we are actually on the final level, which is good. Um. So that's the second computer room, weapons control room. Second engine room, first engine room. Right, okay, well, let's go save the game because we're out of time. Milados. When we come back, uh, I guess we're going to keep exploring these shut doors, uh, which the next one is going to be that one there. Interesting. Well, 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 well. Is Zoe a biological um, computer? Uh, I guess. Even if she wasn't, I guess she is now. I guess. Because, you know, she's now green and, like, radioactive and stuff. Um, so I'm guessing we're going to have to put her down before long. Uh, and you know what? The handgun is just... It's still a really solid weapon. And we was only talking about this kind of stuff yesterday. About uh, handguns staying relevant. Uh, and you know, having a satisfying handgun all the way through a game, and you know what? Yeah, I guess this is one of them, because the grenade launcher seems to do sweet FA, uh, and the machine gun, you know, its advantage is it's rapid fire, but you can only hit enemies, say, once every you know, second and a half or, or two seconds, so you fire one bullet, it hits them, and then the next three bullets don't actually do any Damn it, I don't see the point in the machine gun in this game. Because every enemy seems to get um, invincibility frames after each attack. So, even like the stales, they have the recoil animation where you can't hurt them. Um, unless you just use the submachine gun, um, you know, in single fire mode, which, like, what's the point in that? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.